With a career that spans over six decades, Donny Osmond and his family became a household name in the 70s and have remained in the spotlight ever since. Now the pop icon is chatting with me all about his first ever solo residency in Las Vegas and his special memories of performing at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo in the 70s. TV host, what have you been up to? I have launched my own show here in Las Vegas. So COVID was an interesting time for me because it enabled me to really focus on getting my album ready. It's my 65th album. But it hold also on, enabled hold me on, to- Hold on, hold yeah. on, hold on. 65th, you have 65 albums? Yeah, Elvis okay. still has the record. I think Frank Zappa, but only by a couple. I think uh, I got to beat him by the time I'm done. But. Uh, it enabled me to finish that album and and also produce my new show here in Las Vegas. And it's it's been a whirlwind ride, I tell you, to put this show together. Raj Kapoor, I don't know if that name means anything to you, but he is the one behind the Grammys, the Oscars, the Emmys. He produces that whole whole, whole thing. Well, he, uh, he was the creative director on this show. We tried to put 60 years of show business into a 90-minute show. And I called him up, Laura, and I said, uh, what do you think if I did kind of like Hamilton? I, I did a rap about my life. He starts laughing. He said, Donnie, I would pay money to watch Donnie Osmond rap. So it has become a fan favorite when I do this this little rap. I'll give you a little bit of it. It's like, okay, it all, oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It all began back in Utah. I was four years old, started singing with my brothers, and the sound was like gold. So my folks took a leap and said, what the hey? We got to get these monsters out to California. Yeah. And it gets faster and faster. Ten Donnie! minutes long. 10 minutes and everything I talk about is on the screen. Uh, so it's like my whole life in 10 minutes. You know, Houston rodeo season just ended last month and we went through some of the lineups. You and your family performed here for a few years. Do you have any memories? I'm not gonna ask you specifically, like it was 75, 77, 78 and 79. Um, but do you have any memories of the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo performance? I remember performing the Houston the Astrodome back yes. when, when that was being used. And the place was just completely packed. One of the most exciting um, shows I've ever done because the whole place was just electric. I mean, the audience was ready for the show. We were ready and it was just, it was amazing. They even let me ride a bull. <laughs> Donnie, we're so happy for you. We're going to put a link up at HoustonLife.tv for any fans that are making the trip out there this summer. It's going to be a perfect time to go and check it out. Uh, we're big fans here at Houston Life of yours. And the next time you come here to Houston, please stop by the studio. We'd love to have you in. I'll do it. Thanks, Lauren. Good to talk to you. Can we just recap a rapping Donnie Yo! Austin? Courtney! I can't! <laughs> I, can't. I, I think Courtney it's time I'm for a girl's... Seriously. Courtney is like... You up, baby. You're oh. losing your mind. You were a big fan of his. Listen, I wanted to be Marie Osmond. Oh. <laughs> Weirdly, I wanted to marry Donnie <laughs> as Courtney, not Marie. Oh, right, but right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. I loved him. He's I had so the Barbie sweet. dolls. I had yes. the Marie doll and the Donnie, and I wanted to marry Donnie. I mean, I did. Well, let me tell you, th his career, 65 albums later. Unbelievable. He's still rocking it. This is his first solo residency without Marie in Vegas. It's at Harrah's. And I'm telling you, we need to plan a trip to go out there and see him because it looks like such a fun and interactive show. Listen, Mom, I know you're watching. <laughs> I'm planning it. We're going. Aunt Rob, we're all going. We're all going to be in purple. We're going to Vegas to see Donnie. Okay? It's going to happen. Planned. It's planned. Write it down. It's done. Lauren, done. that was amazing. Good. I think I, I'm so so glad you got a chance to chat with him and how fun that he played here. He, he remembered it, right? Absolutely remembered it and remembered the Astrodome. Yes. Really cool to reminisce with him. That was so fun. cool, yeah. Lauren. Thanks so much. Sure. Super fun. Uh, more info, of course, uh, on HoustonLife.tv.